designed in a way <laughs> to um, to actually see the world in 3D. Our we have two eyes, and our brain is used to that. And I think it's if if you have the right topic for a, for a film project where you can use this depth, um, it's actually adding a lot to the film. These aerials um, that were uh, shot uh, were basically showing the premises of this artist. He has a huge um, facility in the south of France, which is uh, enormous, with enormous stages and enormous studios. Uh, and uh, to show a kind of cut from the interior to the exterior, uh, we used the drone. So there were a few um, scenes that were shot with this one. One thing was we we had to find this super high quality because the drone scenes had to match with the 6K footage in stereo. That was one of the demands and the other demand was uh, it, it needed to be uh, super compact. It has two cameras you can change bring them close to each other with a motor. You have a, this, a small inter-axial or stereo base, or you can uh, increase it up to 15, 16 centimeters. And uh, we use this very, very small uh, industrial cameras with a, a Sony a sensor, which is a 253 IMX uh, Sony sensor, which is 4K resolution uh, 3x4. Then it's all recorded onto a little onboard recorder, which needs to be a very powerful unit because you're creating about a gigabyte of data every second. That needs to be recorded very stable and if one image is lost, the recording is kind of not usable. The 24 megapixel Kovas are just superb. They have a very, very good uh, resolution and they're still extremely compact. And that allows us to bring the cameras really close uh, to each other. And uh, so that was a kind of a very straightforward decision. We did a few tests and the uh, covers turned out to be the best solution for that. <laughs>